Hey guys, Jamie here from the Butcher Island School of Golf Dubai and today I'm going to talk you through a couple of key points when it comes to creating and maintaining a stable base in the putting stroke. When it comes to putting, one of our key objectives is to really be able to stabilize our legs while moving our upper body. Now when it comes down to the actual putting stroke, what that basically means is as I'm putting, I want as little lower body movement as possible. What we tend to see with a lot of amateurs is a lot of kind of side to side movement or even rotation movement in the swing. This can create a lot of problems for two reasons. Number one, when we start adding in rotation and twist, you also start to add in a, a lack of face control. And while with a, a swing or a powerful shot, obviously we need some rotation, we need some power, um, and the absolute accuracy isn't quite as important. And by that I mean, obviously a one degree face isn't gonna make quite as big a difference in a, an iron shot, for example, compared to a putting stroke. When it comes to putting, we really do need ultimate accuracy. There is very little power involved whatsoever. So for me, when I, when I see people putting, what I'm looking to do is basically keep the legs completely still and get them to rock their shoulders. So what you'll notice is my left shoulder goes down, left shoulder goes back up. And it basically rocks side to side like a pendulum, but without really much head movement and without any lower body movement whatsoever. Um, like I say, when we tend to see inconsistencies there, it's very, very difficult for people to not only time the, the face of the golf club at impact, but also judge the speed. A lot of side-to-side -side movement or even rotation can add a lot of speed into the putter head. And again, it's very small margin before that starts to really affect the putter. Today what I'm going to do is talk you through what I kind of do with students and use a couple of simple training aids that will really help you with your putting stroke. So when it comes to creating stability, what we're using is our legs, or more specifically our glutes, to kind of stabilize our legs. So we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. So to start off with people just kind of teaching them the, the basics of the putting stroke and leg stability, I'm going to start with exactly that drill that I did there. So basically I'm going to get into my setup. I'm going to feel like my legs are, if anything, even squeezing out just a little bit. And like I'm trying to keep them nice and still. I'm going to pop my putter just across my shoulders and I'm going to try and feel that putter head just rocks down towards the ground and rocks back. And what I'm trying to do is kind of keep a close eye on my legs and just make sure they don't really move around much. So they kind of rock down and rock back up. And as you can see there, a very still and stable leg movement as I make that. Now obviously that's all well and good, but at the end of the day, the putter isn't up on our shoulders when we are using it. So we need to then start to add in little things that we can use and to do it in an actual putting stroke. One great training aid that I came across recently is a putting aid called Pro Putt. And basically it's a, a small little kind of brace that you squeeze between your legs. And what I've done is I've hooked an alignment stick on the front so it really helps with my kind of feet aim and also my leg aim. So when I pop this in between my legs, what you'll see is it's gonna tell me very quickly if I move around a lot. So if I see the stick kind of moving side to side or around, I'm gonna know that my legs are moving all over the place. So as I hit this pot again, my main kind of goal here is to kind of see in the corner of my eye that the stick is nice and quiet. And again, try and keep that as braced as possible between my legs. So as I'm in here, I'm gonna line up, nice solid setup, and make a stroke. Perfect. And for me there, I, I can see, and especially because I have a bright orange alignment stick, I can see it out of the corner of my, my eye. It's not really moving around that much. This device is great for beginners, um, even for pros it's good because you can, you can kind of get an idea of alignment as well, which is always just a key checkpoint. Um, but for some people I also like to start to use the muscles a little bit more, so to do that I basically get a band. So this is a very, very light TheraBand. And again, what I'm going to do is basically tie this just around my knees. I'm going to have a little bit of tension on it. So what it's going to do is force me to actually use my legs in order to create stability. And then from there, I'm going to hit a couple of putts again. So I'm going to have that nice and tight. I'm going to squeeze my legs out. And again, what this is doing is it's forcing me to create stability with the muscles in my legs. So unlike the other one where I'm squeezing in, I'm actually starting to squeeze out. And there's no visual aid on this. But again, what you're starting to do is really feel everything squeeze and tense up in order to keep your legs nice and still. So let's give this one a try. Again, as I do that, I feel rock solid in the putting stroke. So for me, getting that nice squeeze out with, with the legs is really key, um, mainly because it just helps you feel like you're planted, feel like you're grounded, and your hips almost feel locked down, so you can't really move side to side. Let's try one more. Uh, 
And again, nice and stable, nice and grounded. And for most people, that would be two great exercises that you could do at home. You don't even need to be on a golf course to do this. As you can see, I'm in a studio. You can use a cup or something to put towards. But the key goal is really just learning how to separate your upper and your lower body. Lower body, extremely stable. Upper body rotates like a pendulum.